Hello, my friends. Welcome in. It is time to make it to the next round of the Copa Sudamericana. But first, my friends, a couple things. Um, one of the things I'm most proud of as a content creator is the community feeling, both in the comments and in the Discord, which the link to that is in the description below. Um, and there are some people in our community that are kind of hurting right now. Um, one I've talked about, Eduardo, had, a, had an injury at work with his back. That's all public information that he shared in the Discord, so I, I think he's all right with me sharing it. Um, so, Eduardo, I hope your, your recovery is going well. There's somebody else in the community that I it wasn't shared publicly, so I'm not going to mention any names, but going through a really tough time um, with health of someone they love very much. And so uh, I hope that person knows that we're thinking about them deeply. Um, and I just love that we have this community that can come together and try and put a smile on each other's faces. So hope you're hope you're doing okay um also fm22 is coming out i'm gonna put out a video pretty soon about things i hope fm22 fixes from fm21 um if you've got any specific comments about that things that you want to see i put something up on the community page a couple days ago you can go find it there or you can just comment here it's like if you could fix one thing in fm21 what would it be for me there's two things and i want to show those to you one is going to be when somebody goes, oh, you can't see Marcos here. When they go from a red injury to an orange injury, I would love if they automatically were put on the appropriate rehab or at least give me the option for like, cause I'm sure some managers are psychopaths and be like, no, they're, they're orange. Let's throw them in. It's fine. Or like throw them right back into regular training or whatever. But it's like, at least give me the option, like, you know, inside of the staff responsibilities to be like, as soon as they are, capable of going to rehab send them to rehab please so that they can not you know snap their knee tendons or whatever and the other thing is and somebody had already left this as a comment on uh, on the community post is um let me skip var reviews Where, like the the referee takes a nice little jog goes on stairs while you're like i have other things i could be doing in my life right now right especially as a content creator but if it's annoying non-content creators you know it must be bad all right, my friends, we're not Matt Sharp. Let's get into it here. We have sold some players, or not sold them necessarily. We've moved them on. So we've we've loaned out um, Roni, Vaino, um, Diego. Um, we've sold for a whopping 875 euros, not K, euros, Benicio. We sold Lucas Ramon, who was our third string right back. We're now at the point of the season where we have the Copa Sudamericana and just first division games. So I'm kind of good. We have Ronaldo. That's really now the third string. Um, At Ataide is battling for minutes with Castro alone. So we've got three options there. Um, and we got 1.5 million for the guy who wasn't really playing. And we picked him up for 250. Good business, if you ask me. I didn't pick him up for 250, but we've sold him for 1.5. So I was part of that. Um, we also sold some of these players where it's like, why did you sell a player for 875 euros or 220 euros or even like 10 and 12 K, right? Well, we got, we got five, 10, 20% sell on uh, profit, profit of next sale clauses as part of that. We've not brought anybody else in because I go, I'm, they've tried to offer me a contract three times now. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not taking the contract. I want to leave you with as much money in the bank balance and the transfer budget as possible so that you can do what you want to do. Now, my friends, as we get ready to take on San Lorenzo away from home, I thought about playing a 4-2-3-1. I thought I put Marcos in there, but he's injured, so maybe that's why he's he's got five days. Ooh, who do we want to throw in? It doesn't really matter, does it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's throw another center back in. Sure. Um, I thought about playing a 4-3-3. They are currently 16th, though. 16th. Okay. Correction, they haven't started the league season. I remember now, they have had a single friendly against Def de Belgrano and won 1-0. Surely that's a benefit to us, right? Like, surely they're not, yeah, they're not Matt Sharp. So I think, like, while they're not Matt Sharp, we might as well play, like, a slightly more attacking. I do have us on balance, but a slightly more attacking 4-2-3-1. Like, let's go, boys. Let's go. And then if we, like, you know, are hosting them and they're trying to score theoretically if we like score some goals here then 
right? Then we, we can play 4 3 3. We'll just mix it up, even though it's away, you know, I would doing opposite home versus away what I would normally do. But anyway, Rian up top, Gonzalez, Daniel Lirio on the right, because he's been asking for game time. And he's a Rom Doitar, and I just love saying it. Gontijo, Anjos, mm, don't get sent off, mate. Escobar, Juinho, Patrick William, Castrolon, and Ribeiro, who is on a 6 5 6 in his last five games so you know what that means is my friends not contract to speak about warm player recent form pick yourself up he's been disappointed get in that's the reaction you want to see versus like someone to get all huffy with you like whoa, 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 whoa. all right we will have to turn the sound on here they've got some actual players right no photos as you do we've got a lot of actual players only one new gen regen, Gontijo. Get in, son. At least I think he's a new gen regen. You know, you say that and then you always wonder. You're like, hmm, did I just insult a real human being? Hopefully not. If if Gontijo is a real human being, I hope you're enjoying the channel, mate. Thanks for playing. Anjos, don't get sent off, mate. Okay, okay. Left center back going on a little bit, little, little bit of a jog, making you nervous. We're pressuring this left side for some reason. Okay, well, triangles, triangles, again. Force, like, the sideline becomes an opponent, right? Isn't that what we teach? Like, why are you dribbling at the sideline? Okay, we're just trying to lull them into a false sense of security. Rian, okay, Gonzalez is on the run. Gonzalez, he needs a runner. Back post, he's got one. It's Lirio, what a run. We called it, we asked for it. My shirt's invisible because it's... Quasi the same color blue as my blue screen that I'm using right now, my friends. Also, seek discomfort. Oh gosh, I'm see-through. Um, here we go. Look at that. Gonzalez, he just needed a runner. Now, what was Daniel doing? It's like, mate, get in there. Get in there. But in, I guess he was drawing the defender's attention. That's We'll give him grace with that and say, yes, that's definitely what he was doing. It's an early one-shot on target, and it's a goal. Get in, folks. Get freaking it. Oh. Lirio was brought down. He's feeling it, even though he can, his crossing is a seven. That's why I'm on a rum doitor. Daniel! Oh, good save from the keeper. He got over the wall. Daniel gets under the bite of the cherry. Lays it off. Rian does. Oh, Gonzana scores! Take your shirts off! Ah! Uh, yellow card. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm not sharp, right? Not Matt Sharpness. That seems so harsh. It's kind of like, uh, isn't that what happens with MLS clubs in the whatever, the... CCL or whatever they call it with with Mexico and the other uh it's like El Salvador you know like CONCACAF Champions League is that what the CCL I don't you can tell I watch it a lot oh it's a mistake what Ribeiro saves us I can't even think about CONCACAF right now but it just seems like uh MLS usually starts that like in the middle of preseason where they like haven't even played any games it just is, is harshness okay get in get in not that i really care much for mls anyway so it doesn't doesn't really matter okay 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 can you find rian oh what a touch brings it down oh that wasn't 16 finishing maybe it was ambitious 16 finishing he tried to like place it into the corner maybe we'll give him we'll give him we'll give him credit escobar picks up a yellow okay 20 minutes in. Maybe it was earlier, but I just noticed it. Gonzalez gets Lirio. Swings it back over. Gonzalez is there. Brings it down. We'll do it again. Cross it again. He does. Oh, mate. It's the surge. Gotta get the... Gotta get the... Mm. If I had more artistic ability, I definitely would have put out a shirt with me doing this. You know, like before and after. Anybody? Would, would if, we, if we paid somebody... I don't think we'd make enough from selling shirts to do that. Would have been relevant when we were playing the Reggio Adache uh, save to do that. There's a flare. Who doesn't love a good flare edge? Casrolon, mm, mate, that was, there was lots of dudes standing for front of you trying to cross that. I just places it though, Gonzalez. I mean, I am, this is unexpected. I know it's the Europa League of South America and they're not Matt Sharp, but we are on top of it, my friends. 3-0. I mean, if, if a massive scoreline was would be fantastic, so that we can not feel pressure at home. Let's go, folks. Let's go. We might even take Escobar off and save the yellow card, right? 
Outstretched arms. I'm very, very happy. Oh, it said something about his 100th appearance. Escobar, good on you, mate. Good on you. 100th appearance. But, you know, I, I still needed it. It was more important to tell you. I guess I should have said it to Lyria. Did he already? No, he picked it up early in the second half. And it's more important to tell you not to get sent off, please. Lirio. Lirio. Seven crossing. Castron says, I got you, mate. Gonzalez heads it way back. Okay. Contijo resets. Playing the Fabinho type isk role. Like, I got you, mate. Rian sets Daniel up. Four nil. Or I, I am I am befuddled and confused, but we are not complaining. I would love to finish this series with a continental like run. And we are well on our way here. 4 nil. I just love the interplay. Look at that. I thought he was going to go near post. He went far post with that one. Zoinks. Zoinks, people. I do think at 4 nil it makes sense. Like, let's not let's not have people getting sent off, please. Um, you're having a great game, but, again, we really don't want to have you sent off. Marcos v Oh, he's not a... Oh my God, he's a right winger. He's not a rumdeuter. Marcos Vinicius is going to make... His first continental appearance, my friends. 17 years old. Get in. We haven't. We really have been playing him as a uh, an advanced playmaker. Do we switch it up? Do we switch it up? He's more. He's more comfortable. I think. Well, he needs to learn it. Really, he's not more comfortable, but his his attributes are better for an advanced playmaker. So we'll give him the reins as as the ten and bring Daniel out to the wing because Daniel knows it well. Another flare. They're in the middle of the of the stands. Very very nice. Gonzalo! You would think that wouldn't be our fans, though. We're we're away. Maybe they're trying to intimidate us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Ball over the top! Sabella! Lucas Acosta with the assist. The goalkeeper. Jose Sa did that this weekend. What are we doing? He's just running. He's just running. He just runs right past Juinho. Man, what are you doing? What are you doing, son? What are you doing? I'm still going to give a 70-second minute praise. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Okay, let's... I, I, don't, I don't have any idea how many subs we get. Why would I know that? Um, we're going to bring on Bruno Nazario to save the legs of Gonzalez. Because he's... Our, I mean, not save the legs. He's a yellow heart. But, you know, like... Just in case something happens to Rian, we want to have Gonzalez ready, my friends. We will take a 4-1. We will not feel as good as a 4-0, as you might imagine. But taking a three-goal lead to home, not the best showing for Marcos Vinicius. It is a big game to just throw him in. But we'll be happy with that. Let's, let's go do it again. All right, here we go. Big lead, 4-1. Biggest lead of... Uh, again, there were some other matches. Let's just take a look here. Uh, stages. Belgrano got past Newell's. No, Newell's with the away. That's what the magical A means, right? One on away goals. Newell's old boys passed Belgrano, even though they lost the game two to three. Goodness me. We would like to not be involved in any of that mess, my friends. We are playing the 4-3-3, and I think I forgot to change training to the 4-3-3. Castro on Patrick Williams, Juinho, Euler, because we're trying to keep Escobar out of the mix with the yellow card. Gontijo, Cartagena on defend rather than support. Anjos is really the only midfielder getting forward. Lirio and Gonzalez making making waves out on the wings with Rian up top. Uh, Marcos has had a knock. Um... Let's look here. All right, I'm curious if they played a game in between because we didn't. So we'll, we'll we'll wait to see if it shows us the magical. It's not going to show us the magical graphic. Why wouldn't it show us the magical graphic, my friends? Anybody understand? I don't. Let's go take a look. I don't think they probably did. I think it's just back to back. No, they lost. Oh, dear. They lost to Union Santa Fe SF in the Copa Argentina Sixth round on penalties. Off to a rough start, my friends. Can we capitalize playing wing play? They got an early yellow on their center back. Let's freaking go. I'm totally fine if this is a bald draw. We just sit here. We all talk about life. Uh-oh. Oh, away. Oh, 
Close that down. Bianco. Oh, I thought I thought that was gonna be a straight red for just like uh oh what was the thing that it happened last weekend or maybe two weekends ago with the set piece the guy towed the ball away and the guy just like totally like tried to break his leg with the kick. I thought that's what was gonna be happening there. And of course, to make it interesting, we got a tight calf on Rian. Now we have options. I think we're gonna bring on Gonzalez up top. And we're gonna bring mm, mm, do we want to bring on Lucas Rodriguez? He's more of an inverted. But he can play wing and he needs game time. So we'll we'll just slot you right in there. If you're enjoying the series and you want to support the channel, there's a couple different ways you can do that. They're all in the description below. Um, you can join Patreon to throw a buck or two or five or a hundred a month. Oh my gosh, I can't even get my promos out. Come on. Anjos, you love making double subs so early. Mm, so good. Daniel, come on down. Patreon.com is a way to financially support content creators you enjoy or become a YouTube member. It's essentially the same thing except YouTube takes a cut of it. So whatever works, I think with YouTube membership or premium, you used to get a free membership. I should probably know that. Or, my friends, if you want to buy FM22, which is coming out in approximately... On the day I'm recording, that's like a month and a, and a week from now. Give or take, maybe a month and 10 days from now. You can get 10% off, which is going to be everywhere even on Steam, plus an additional 10% off of that price using my code at 2GAME. On, it's all caps, gray hair, just like on the channel. G-R-A-Y, I guess from your perspective, G-R-A-Y-H-A-I-R. You got to use the discount code when you check out. It gives me a very teeny, 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 tiny cut, but that's a way you can support the channel, or or you can just keep hitting the like button. Surpri surprise? Subscribe. It's a surprise subscribe. Um... And, uh, you know, tell your friends. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with FM22, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm a little worried with the direction of the game's going. Not going to lie, we'll talk about it in an upcoming video. Oh, mate. Okay, we got, we got Gontijo and Rodriguez on yellows. You just came on, mate. Like, you j I mean, not really. You came on in the 29th minute or whatever. Let's not be getting sent off, shall we? Ball down the wind. Okay, okay, okay. We're causing problems. We're being compact. We're being annoying. We got a DM. We're going to intercept that nicely. Okay, it works. Gonzalez comes deep to get it. Lays it off. Go down the wing. There you go. Go down the wing. Little one, two. Little one, two. Run, son. Run faster. Look at the space. It takes his time. Come on. Apply a little bit of pressure. <laughs> it's just like... I just... I'm just gonna jog like this. I guess we'll keep the last sub if it's if it's just three subs for another injury. So we we don't have a lot of opportunity to make it a jaw. Oh, we just I mean oh oh that's nine tackling for you, my friends. Oh, that was poor poor passing. Your passing's supposed to be better than your tackling. I just made fun of your tackling, and then you do that with your passing. Goodness me, that was lovely from Euler, and then it totally wasn't. And so St. Patrick William just cleared. I mean, just hoof it, mate. Just hoof it. This is going to be a goal for them, or a penalty, more likely. Okay, or, or Gonzalez, oh, what a back pass to your center back from way downtown. Oh, it almost dribbles in. But it hath not, my friends. It hath not. Rodrigo, oh, nobody at home. Double headed away, lovely stuff. Again, we'll take a ball draw. I am going to demand more, though. Well, let's just, we like to, we have standards, lads. Standards. Lirio, 6.4. Not good enough. Away! Oh, it's not away. I thought that was away with the camera angle. Instead, it was down into the mixer. It's 4-2 on aggregate. Let's just move on. Can we please not concede? I don't want to make it interesting, to be completely honest with you. We are going to make a last-minute sub here. We're going to take Lirio off and bring on Carvajalio, I think. Let's do it. Encourage? They hate that. They don't they, oh they don't like demand more. They don't like encourage. They wanted to be berated. That's what it was. The encourage is like, boys, we're down one nil, it's okay. But we're really up four two until now. Until now, until Ribeiro collects it. Didn't go squeaking between his legs. The rating's honestly quite poor. 
for the whole squad. Blocked. Oh, you mate, you're not even gonna run towards that, Rodriguez. You just you're just gonna stand there. What you guarding the space? Blocked. Good job, Castro. He said I wanted to play more. There you go. Come on, Ruff. Come on, Ruff. They're just gonna hoof it. Apply some pressure, boys. There you go. Cartagena, Gonzalez lays it off. Rodriguez. Oh, I gotta run. Yeah, you do have to run. Mate, that's poor. He's like, oh, the open space. You want to run into the open space? Aren't we going to win? <laughs> it's like, mate, oh no. Not like this, boys. Oh! You never know. At the end of the game, like, they get another penalty or something. An extra 30 seconds. We'll take it. Um... We're moving on. I'm not going to yell at them about making it to the next round of the Copa Sudamericana. Um, possessions overrated. What'd they do with it? Only beat us 1-0? That's a weird you know, comment. Let's see what the other results look like. Yeah. Bot won. Corinthians won. Oh, 6-0. Flumin Flu Fluminense? I'm sorry. At least I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing the name. Is that better? Who do we get? Oh, three to four weeks, tight calf. 254. Do we know yet? Do we know yet? We don't know yet. When is the draw? The quarterfinal. Draw date, the 26th. Do we have a game between now and then? Do we have a game? No, let's go find out together. Hit that like button. Let's go. Here we go, my friends. I love it. It's the quarter and the semifinal. So here's the... Oh, it's not like... Uh, yeah, we just all go in a pot. So... It's not really all that exciting. Oh, I think those were the two easier teams. Oh, Corinthians currently 13th. What? Last season, they finished 12th? Is it because they got knocked out of the Copa Libertadores? What? How did they qualify? Oh, at the very, very bottom. That would still count. Okay. I thought it was like, you know, they won something else or something. Okay, and if we get past them, let's just draw all the teams. UTC, Universidad Te Tecnica de Cajamarca in Peru, which I think we want, versus uh, Fluminense. Fluminense? Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's pretty rough if you ask me. My friends, that's what I'm bringing you back for. Right, like the the first division matters. But it's like let's see how this Copa Sudamericana run goes, and then we've still got a whole lot of first division to play. So if you've enjoyed that episode, my friends, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching; it means a lot. See ya. <laughs>